Good morning everybody, my name is Wes Davies. Welcome back to another very special video. I'm actually up here in Bunchao, New Taipei City. This is an area of Taiwan that I've never really explored before. I've got a whole bunch of awesome things on my list. I want to check out the Lin family garden, which I've heard so many great things about. There's a 150 year old Confucius school. There's all kinds of boutiques and traditional shopping streets, traditional Taiwanese food. There's a temple over there, which is often frequented by the richest man in all of Taiwan. And right here, this is the Fujong Shopping District, newly renovated. You can see how nice it looks all around me. Sparkling new pavement below my feet. And uh, yeah, I just, I wanna take you guys along for the ride. So let's go check out the Lin Family Garden first. Okay, so I have been wanting to come here forever. As soon as I saw, I think Lucas did a video about this. This is the Lin family garden. And they first built this place, the Lin family, in I think around 1853. So way older than 150 years. And they were at the time the richest family in the entire city. They were landowners, they were involved in banking and exporting rice, all kinds of things. And so they built this like spectacular mansion here up in Benchow. And now it has become a tourist attraction. It's open to the public. And as I said, I've wanted to come here forever. And ooh, we're just gonna start exploring. Can't wait to, uh, to finally check this place out. So it's 80 and T to get in, which is really a great price. And then for residents of Banchao, it's totally free. So even if you're a tourist coming here, it's really inexpensive. If you live here, obviously, uh, it's free, so no matter what, you don't have an excuse not to come. And what I love about it is it's really like a mansion. There's so many twisting corridors and little different rooms, and then all of a sudden you turn a corner, like look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, ancient looking garden. Uh, really, really lovely, and wow. Okay, yeah, it is really impressive. So I just learned that that building right over there that we just walked through, that used to be the old library. And the family would uh, take a book out at the library and then come into this beautiful pond courtyard area. And then they would sit here on these benches and enjoy their books. And then when they would take a break, oftentimes there would be a small performance uh, right over there. That's like almost a, a stage that they would put on plays or do readings, things like that. And another thing they mentioned was that they really tried to take care of this place and plant all kinds of trees and shrubs and water plants. And they believed, rightfully so, that that would improve the air and create almost like a little microclimate ecosystem in here that would help you relax. To give you an idea of how incredible this Lin Garden is, this right here is actually only the guest house. So this is where they would receive important guests. And of course they wanted to make their guests feel honored and welcomed. So apparently this is one of the prettiest buildings on the entire property. Okay, I'm inside the guest house now and every single square inch of this place has something interesting to look at. Uh, and one of the cool things is the ceiling. Uh, there's a, a crane in the middle which is a symbol for prosperity. So the owner will put the crane on the ceiling hoping that his children will eventually become successful in life. So this is where they would receive their guests. So I suppose the guests would come in and wait here for the head of the family uh, who would probably be sitting in that room. And it's just really impressive. It's very grand. It almost feels like you're in an old royal castle or something like that. Or I suppose the Taiwanese version of that. Yeah. Super impressive. Okay, I think that just about does it for the Lin Family Garden. I'm really happy I finally got a chance to come here. It is completely worth it. If you're in this area, you simply must come here. Next stop on the tour here, this is Daguan Yixie. And this is one of the first schools that was ever built up here in Banchao. And the gentleman showed me a plaque on the wall and it mentioned that the students in this area they were having trouble on their entrance exams, you know, for colleges or for their jobs. And then they built this school here. The students came, they got educated, and then suddenly all their test scores started going up and up and up. So this place here, it is so beautiful and it is credited as kind of bringing education and prosperity to the youth of this area. 
Okay, we're back out onto the city streets just outside of Lin Garden here and they explained to me that there's something called Wen Chuang, which is when you have something very, very old and traditional and then you renovate it to something more modern while preserving those kind of old classic characteristics. So that's something that the Bunchao city government has really been putting a lot of effort and energy into these past few years. You can see they've redone all of these sidewalks and walking paths, making the city a lot more friendly for pedestrians <laughs> and scooter drivers. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna explore some of these back streets. And they let me know that you can see here, this part closer to the Lynn Garden is going to be a lot more traditional. You can see all these fruit and vegetable sellers, very, very traditional Taiwanese style. And then as we get further down the street, closer to the MRT station, which used to be the old train station, which I'll show you in just a second, uh, it will progressively get more and more modern. Uh, my shop, the name is One End Together. One and together. One together. Ah. Uh, it means uh, you are one and we are together. Okay. So we can make things happen. So it's like almost an art gallery, boutique shop, restaurant, all supporting local businesses, yeah. entrepreneurs, yeah. farmers. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good that's idea. You're right. Very welcome you to Taiwan. Thank yeah. you so much. So after you walk through that really awesome traditional street, you'll come here. This is arguably the most famous temple in the city or even in Taiwan, possibly. Uh, this is Tse Hui Gong. And one of the reasons why this temple is so famous is because there's a gentleman named Guo Taiming. He's actually the founder of Foxconn, which is one of the largest semiconductor factories in all of Taiwan. So as a young man, Guo Taiming would always come to this temple and pray for success and pray for wealth. And guess what, he got it. He's now a billionaire multi-billionaire and every year he comes to this temple and he he prays to the gods here and actually recently the temple has undergone a very massive renovation so they fixed all the roofs they repainted everything uh, they have six levels that they've redone and so they're very very proud of what they've accomplished with their renovations and I can see it's really beautiful inside and they actually took us to a special floor that usually is not open to the public where they've taken artifacts from the temple as it was before and they've actually preserved them under the glass. Uh, that way they could renovate the temple while still preserving all those old relics of the temple's ancient past. Okay, had a bit of a busy time walking around, checking out the market full of all kinds of traditional shops, vendors as I mentioned, getting a little bit hungry for lunch. So we're gonna stop at this place it uh, looks super traditional, very traditional Taiwanese food, like uh, kind of luro fan, noodles, wontons, that kind of thing. Let's go inside, see if we can find something tasty. Sat down, Gongho Samba, that's the name of this restaurant. I'll link it right down below as usual. I've got a bit of a spread here. Also have a team to help me eat this stuff. Uh, so first we're gonna try the wontons. They're wontons and spicy oil, you know I love that. And then we've got the uh, very traditional kind of thick rice with mushrooms and pork. Got some noodles with uh, nice pork and shallots on top. Uh, very good fried pork steak. And we have some traditional cilantro and I believe it's squid soup. So I'm really looking forward to trying all this out. And this is kind of an example of the traditional Taiwanese foods that you can expect to find in an area like this. So bon appetit to me. Okay, so we're right in the middle of our adventure here. Back that way is the old traditional market that we just explored. And then across the street there, that's the new up and coming modern shopping district of the city. And right here where I'm standing, this actually used to be the old traditional style train station of Bunchao. And in the late 90s, they bulldozed it down and they opened it all up to make it more pedestrian friendly and to ease any of the traffic congestion that they had back then. So uh, they also added an MRT stop here. So this connects right to you know downtown Taipei, anywhere the MRT goes. Very easy place to get to. Uh, this is Fujong Street. I can't wait to hop over here. 
past the very famous Bun Chow Dragon that you can see, and then we'll check out the new modern shopping district. Let's go. So as you know, we've all gone through a major pandemic and many countries around the world are supporting their citizens by giving them, you know, stipends and vouchers. So in Taiwan's case, they've given uh, mostly everyone these beautiful uh, $5,000 vouchers, which you can spend anywhere in Taiwan. And it's meant to uh, be a way for you to go and support your local community, your local shops, things like that. So we're gonna go inside this very traditional uh, mooncake shop right here in Banqiao and we're gonna see what we can do with a couple hundred NT's worth of vouchers. So um, we run a traditional uh, mooncake shop here. Um, so mooncakes are a traditional pastry used in Chinese culture during the Mid-Autumn Festival. So our signature dish is um, this one. Um, it's made with a, um, I guess you would call sword bean. It's translated into sword bean. You can wiki it. It's kind of more melt in your mouth than mm. our traditional mung bean. So it kind of like when you eat it, it kind of feels like cotton candy, but it's it's not. <laughs> so it's kind of an interesting texture, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. Thanks for introducing me. I've never heard about this, so I'm super curious to see what it's gonna taste like. Okay. Hmm. Cookies like this, cakes like this, by themselves, I mean, they're tasty, but the texture, it really invites itself to wanting some, some kind of drink, preferably tea. Mm. So this shop has been my family for four generations. I'm currently the fourth generation running this shop. Mm. And um, we typically sell more traditional mooncakes. It's hard to find um, generational, like family-owned businesses here um, in Taiwan. More That's and more to... rare. Yeah, it's more and more rare. I think, uh... We can use these to buy a box of pastries. Right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> Where'd they go? Yeah, I can't wait to try these out. Yeah, thanks. Are they the same ones that we had before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then I know. I know exactly. I like them. Okay. Cheers. Thanks. See you later. See you later. Cheers, Jenny. <laughs> So I'm deep in the heart of the Fujong shopping district right now and what I've noticed is there's this very interesting blend of you know the old ancient Taiwanese history which has obviously been steeped in this region for hundreds of years and then you just look across the street and there's all these fancy new shops. So it's just this awesome blend of old and new, modern and traditional and it in a way it kind of reminds me of this place in Toronto, Canada called Dundas Square because it's right downtown Toronto, the heart of the shopping district. And then you'll go a couple streets over and you'll find an old traditional church that's been there for generations. So I just love uh, that feeling that I'm getting here in Fujong. It kind of makes me wish that I had known about all there is to see in Ban Chao earlier. You know, I've been in Taiwan for years. This is my first time here. If I had known, I think I would have taken more time to come down to this area and do some more exploring. These are all wedding shops. So this must be the wedding district of Ban Chao. So if you guys are planning on getting married, this might be a good spot to come. So coming from Kaohsiung myself, I really appreciate that all day long in this Fujong area, I've actually been able to walk on pavement and sidewalks. So, you know, obviously very accessible, even wheelchair friendly, which I don't think is something you can say very often in a lot of parts of Taiwan, but definitely down here, great place to walk around for the day like I've been doing. It's really nice. Hi, hello. Oh, how are you? Good, thanks, how are you? Good. So this is tea? Yeah, this is um, um, traditional Chinese um, medicinal tea. Okay. And as you can see, there's a lot of like uh, various um, herbal within the, um, um, our tea. Mm -hmm. And um, some of them is like, uh, for example, it's like uh, ginseng and so therefore give you vitality. Yeah. Do I need that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, it looks great. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. So these are the six different kinds that you sell here? Yeah, uh, at the moment we are pushing this for, the, um, for this year. Okay, I'm gonna try it. They've told me, they've taught me the name Juhua uh, Gongji Cha. So it's traditional to drink it from these little bowls. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's good. It's very good. Good for my eyesight and fertility. fertility. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the tea. Uh, you're welcome. Really, really good. Yeah. Glad and you like so, it. So one thing I've been noticing today, a little bit of a pattern. Yep are the shop owners that we've been talking to mm -hmm. are not the first generation. This shop has been um, open since from my grandfather's period and um, till now it's nearly 60 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, as you can see because like in Ban Chao district is uh, considered one of the oldest town in uh, new Taipei city region. So therefore a lot of like um, history was in this area. Well, I'm really enjoying it here today. And thank you so much for giving me the history and your shop is so beautiful. Thank oh, you. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay. All right, so this is Larry. You'll notice we're actually wearing the same masks. Larry's been awesome today, showing me around Buncho. So I was just wondering if you could tell them a little bit about your organization, what you guys are up to. Hi everyone, I'm the president of uh, Ban Chao Fuzong Sangchen. Our mission is to, ever since the old train station moved away to the newer district, uh, we're trying to promote the business back, we're trying to bring the crowd back. Right. And also we're trying to uh, preserve a lot of stories and uh, histories around the area. It's true, because if you look a little closer around this whole area, it's full of all kinds of amazing, traditional shops, right, right. but also new shops. We found that those boutiques. Yes, yes, like, yes. It's just such an exciting and vibrant area. I love it up here. Exciting is the word I was looking for because mm -hmm. uh, for the past two years, we're trying to build a new brand around this area. Wes mentioned about the logo. We made a brand new logo. The concept is from the train. Right, it's uh, Fujong, right? It looks yeah. like a little train. Yes, I yes. love that. Yeah, and then the color, and we're trying to bring the vibe more playful so that we can bring different visitors over here and to have fun and then experience all the history and all the new shop the boutique shop so uh, yeah, you guys are doing a great job yeah thank you thank thanks you thanks so much for inviting me yeah today, no problem man. no problem awesome. yeah thank you for coming and anytime hope, yeah hope everyone can come visit anytime and uh, if you see me on the street just grab me and say hello thanks buddy yeah thank you thank you Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Larry for inviting me out here today. I had such a good time. Awesome to see that mixture of old traditional Taiwan with the vibrant, modern and exciting up and coming new generation. And actually there's tons of promotions going on. There's lotteries that you can enter, there's events. And I will put all that information right down below. Go over to their fan page, check out this awesome company. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.